midway between solstice and equinox when the tractors move all daylight in mirages of their own thrown dust and the farmhands come in the back gate at noon empty with jars in their hands imagine yourself a child with a fever half delirious all that month and your sisters lift you in your white wooden chair carry you to the edge of a hayfield, set you down in hedgerow shade and leave you while they go into the woods to turn, you think, into swans. They are so lovely, your sisters, in their white sundresses that appear and disappear all afternoon among dark trunks of trees. None of this ever happened. Remember the body heat of the wind as it came from behind the tenant shack just there on the eastern border of your vision to touch you with its loving black hand. And there you are, a white boy, brought up believing the wind isn't even human. The wind is happy to live in its one wooden room with only newspaper on the walls to keep out what this metaphor won't now let me call the wind. But don't worry about that. Your sisters in the woods are gathering beautiful fruit. You can hear it falling into their hands. And the big pistons of the tractors drive thunderously home into cylinders steel bright with the future. you want your sister to marry one. Let me tell you, white boy, the wind is in the woods with its cornmeal and its black iron skillet. It's playing the blues harp and the poison oak where your 
youngest sister, the one with hair so blonde you think it looks like a halo of rain, is about to take off her dress. You sit there dreaming your mild fever dream. You tap your foot to the hay baler's squared rhythm. They've dressed you in linen. From the woods where your sisters lie suddenly down, you burn. Snow white. I've seen your face. I remember your name. I prophesy something you can't imagine is coming to kiss you. And you thought I was reaching back to you in words to tell you something beautiful, like wind. <laughs> <laughs> 